Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, realize that you've got one thing multiplying with another thing. So, um, so, so if you look at this bubble here, as n gets bigger and bigger, as n heads towards infinity, this thing here is going to be zero. It's heading towards zero. So, uh, so you've got one take away zero. So you know this bubble here will head towards the number one. Uh, and then, and then if you look at this here, you've got, uh, you've got one bubble over another bubble. So as n tends towards infinity, meaning n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this is going to be massive in comparison to this number 3. So imagine this bubble here as being n, uh, 5n. So imagine, because you, you, you've got, you've got something that's, you've got something that's, um, uh, you've got something that's very, very big, and then you take away a tiny amount. So this thing here, you can, you can ignore the tiny amount as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So now down here, you can just imagine a 7n here. So it really boils down to, well, as n tends to, as n tends to infinity, as n tends to infinity, you've got this bubble here, which you know is going to head towards 1. And then this bubble here is going to be, uh, 5n over 7n. So, uh, so you can consider this, uh, as n tends to infinity, uh, this thing here is heading towards 5 over 7 and then you times times 1. So the limit here is going to be 5 over 7. So um, so if you get a graph plotter and plot in your, your sequence here uh, and, then, and then plot y equals 5 over 7, you can see that as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you can see that's heading towards towards this limit, 5 over 7. So the limit, um, the limit of this sequence, the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity is 5 over 7 is 5 over 7. Okay. Next question. Um, so find the limit of this sequence as n tends towards infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, have a quick glance. You've got one bubble multiplying another bubble. As n tends towards infinity, as n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, um, this thing, this thing here is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. One divided by something that's going to be very, very big, then this whole thing here is going to be, is going to be zero. So this thing here is heading towards zero. And then the same argument here, you're, you're taking away a really, well, you're taking away zero here. So you can think of this whole bubble here as being three. And then you multiply with, uh, two plus something very, very small, which is heading towards zero. You can consider this bubble here as two. So really the limit is really 6. So if you get a graph plotter and plot this, get a graph plotter and plot uh, plot that, and then you can see that the limit here is, uh, is 6. As n gets bigger and bigger, it's heading towards 6. Okay, so, so the limit is 6.